Hey guys, I'm Cameron the Game Wars, and welcome back to episode 4 of my Legendary Weapons Guard for Borderlands 3. Today we have the Tidal Wave, in my case it is the Iron Build Tidal Wave, in your case the prefix may change but it will be some variation of the Tidal Wave, and yes, in case you couldn't guess it, this is the returning Legendary from Borderlands 1. It was a blue gun in that game, but in this game it is a Legendary, it was from TK Baja, it was called The Wave. The red text reads, Flew the Wave Dude, which I still have no idea what it's a reference to, so let me know down below if you do. As for the parts of my version, I don't actually have any bad parts in this one for once, which is a miracle. I've never had a single legendary without any kind of bad parts whatsoever. Now, as for the drop location, this is unfortunately a random wall drop. It does not come from Grave Ward. You could probably get it a lot easier at somewhere like the loot and tank farm at Jacob's Estate or something like that, but I was lucky enough to get it from Grave Ward while I was trying to farm him for his blood shield. And as you can see, we've got a triple legendary drop, and that is the first one that I look at. It is the wave. Now as far as gear goes, we'll be using the Transformer Shield and the Luck Artifacts. That is the only changes that I've made since the last few videos. The skill trees are still the exact same and the Guardian ranks are still the exact same as last video. Now unfortunately, just like Borderlands 1, this shotgun does lack at a range. Its cool little feature though is that it does reflect the bullets if you do miss them, so at a range you can get some cool reflections off, but it's really not worth it. Like, it does zero damage at a range. As you can see here, it's taking me about an average of Eclipse per someone to kill, which is not good for a legendary shotgun at all. I'm trying to hit the crits on this bloke here, and it's just not doing a thing because I'm not close enough to hit all those pellets on his little critical spot. So, in terms of legendary shotguns, I would say the Butcher or something like that is better for a mid-range, whereas I tried switching it up to close range here, and it's just not faring much better. Like, it does some good damage when you're, like, real up and close to them, but... It's not going to compare anywhere near to a Butcher or a Nimble Jack or anything like that. Like, it just does nothing. So that will be it for the title wave. If you like this kind of content, consider checking me yourself because I'll be trying to make this content every single day. If you like the video, give me a like. If you dislike the video, give me a dislike and let me know in the comments down below what I could do to earn that like of yours. This has been the Game Wars and have a good one.